Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that in an experiment of rolling two unbiased dice, what is the probability that total of nine appears on dice given that four appears on one of the dice? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the additional probability P of occurrence of event A given that event B occurs is equal to probability P of event A into section B upon probability P of event B. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the question it is given that two dice are rolled simultaneously. We have to find the probability that total of 9 appears on the dice given that 4 appears on one of the dice. Now let us write sample space for the given question. Now we know that whenever we roll a die, the total number of outcomes is 6. Now when two dies are rolled simultaneously, then the possible outcomes are getting a number 1 on first die and getting a number 1 on second die then getting a number 1 on first die and getting a number 2 on second die then getting a number 1 on first die and getting a number 3 on second die so here we have written all possible outcomes in rolling of two dies now here the sample space will contain all these possible outcomes that is sample space F is a set containing all these ordered pairs and there are 36 ordered pairs so total number of outcomes is equal to 36 now let us define the events. Event A is total of 9 appears on the dice and event B is number 4 appears on one of the guys first of all let us write the elements for event A for this we have to check those ordered pairs in the sample space S whose sum of first and second components is equal to 9 now here you can see 3 plus 6 is 9 4 plus 5 is 9 then 5 plus 4 is also 9 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so event A is a set containing ordered pairs 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 4 and 6, 3 now let us write elements of event B now this is event B. Now for writing elements of event B, we have to check those ordered pairs of sample space S whose one of the components is 4. So event B is a set containing ordered pairs 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 1, 4, 2, 
Now, let us write event A intersection B which is a set containing ordered pairs that are common to events A and B. So, those ordered pairs are 4, 5 and 5, 4. So, event A intersection B is a set containing ordered pairs 4, 5 and 5, 4. Now, we know that the total number of outcomes is equal to 36 and number of outcomes favorable to event B is equal to 11. So, probability P of event B is equal to number of outcomes favorable to event B that is 11 upon total number of outcomes that is 36. So, probability of event B is equal to 11 upon 36. Now, number of outcomes favorable to event A intersection B is equal to 2. So, probability P of event A intersection B is equal to number of outcomes favorable to event A intersection B that is 2 upon total number of outcomes that is 36. So, probability of event A intersection B is equal to 2 upon 36. Now, we have defined event A as total of 9 appears on the dice and event B as 4 appears on one of the dice and we have to find the probability that total of 9 appears on dice given that 4 appears on one of the dice it means we have to find conditional probability of occurrence of event A given that event B occurs and using this result which is given to us in key idea we know that this is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B. Now, this is probability of event B and this is probability of event A intersection B. So, conditional probability of occurrence of event A given that event B occurs is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B. This is equal to 2 upon 36 whole upon 11 upon 36 and on solving this is equal to 2 upon 11. So, conditional probability of occurrence of event A given that event B occurs is equal to 2 upon 11. Now, this is the required answer. That is, probability that total of 9 appears on the dice given that 4 appears on one of the dice is equal to 2 upon 11. Now, here you can see there are 11 elements in event B and conditional probability is 2 11th of B's outcomes and that particular two outcomes are the ordered pairs 4, 5 and 5, 4 which are also in event A. So, this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.